Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Uh, very, very good morning. Let's keep muted, okay? Let's keep muted. Good morning to all present here. I am Lavanya Kalai. Today, we all have gathered here for the auspicious ceremony Vidya Rambam. Initiating your little one into the world of letters, this is a momentous occasion. Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidya Rambam Karishami Siddhi Bautume Sada. Here, Vidya means knowledge and Arambam means to begin. Vidya Rambam is an important day for a stepping stone of a child. This is the day all parents hope that their little ones take up learning through enjoyment. Vidya Rambam is a day a child is formally inducted into the world of education. With these notes, now let me invite Ms. Rohini to welcome formally our dignitaries, parents and children for this auspicious function. Good morning to everyone, dear dignities, teachers, parents, and our dear Chris Buds. It's Vindya Rabam 2021. Here, finally, I know you all are excited to formally induct your kids to the world of letters. And I'm here in this fine morning to welcome you all to this momentous gathering, we, Christ family, is eagerly awaiting for the new Christbirds to join our family to introduce them to a new world of knowledge, fun and excitement. We are here to make your kids two smarter and smartest ones. You can be proud parents where you have chosen the best place for your lovely kids to grow into the world of wisdom. Now let's welcome our manager, Reverend Father Joe's career madam, CMI, a man of great wisdom and supporting pillar of our school. His presence atmospheres always energizes us and his stories inspires us to think more and laugh like hearty welcome father. I take the privilege of welcoming our beloved principal Reverend Father Dr. Rajesh George CMI a man of vision and perfection. His dynamism, energetic nature and positively always keeps us going in this challenging time. We wholeheartedly welcome you Father. I also welcome our Vice Principal Reverend Father Ebin Francis CMI, a man of hard work and commitment. His enthusiasm, simplicity always inspires us. Hearty welcome, dear father. Parents are our strength and supporting hand, especially as we start this new academic year amidst this pandemic situation. Parents are the immediate teachers who are available to our kids. We thank you for believing in us to entrust your precious pearls to us. I, along with the management and co-teachers, take pride 
in welcoming our dear parent community to this momentous occasion welcome dear parents our children is our focus and treasure we are here because of your kids our presence becomes meaningful because these kids are with us so with immense pleasure let me welcome the new birds to the christ family welcome dear children a teacher is a true guru they not only teach us but inspire us motivate us and guide us in the right path they become a second mother to all the kids i welcome our dear coordinator and my wonderful team at christ who are always working keenly to see the best in the children welcome dear teachers once again welcoming all i remain thank you rohini ma'am we welcome you too as we commence a new beginning today let us seek the blessings of lord almighty through a prayer led by reverend father eben v francis our vice principal lord of god we your beloved children are gathered here in your holy name you gave existence to the universe and sustain it through your creative love in order to give it a share in your everlasting life your glory permeates the all of creation every sphere of life is filled with your presence enter this learning center and bless us with your loving presence may you always be here with every student and staff share in their joys comfort them in their sorrows bless everyone especially our management staff student students and parent community as we pass through a challenging and unprecedented time of pandemic we pray for each and every member of our family relatives and friends they may be spread from the hazards of this deadly pandemic and be safe under your custodianship kindle in our hearts the light of understanding that we may learn to be true instruments in your loving hands bless us to be more attentive patient and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us bless our beloved country that we may we may have unity peace and prosperity fill us and surround us with your divine peace may your holy peace reign in our hearts and lives amen thank you father now sister reverend sister manasa will lead us in prayer through an invocation song there shall be showers of blessing this is the promise of love there shall be seasons refreshing sent from the savior above showers of blessing showers of blessing we are falling but for the showers we plead showers of blessing showers of blessing we need mercy drops on us are falling but for the showers we plead there shall be showers But for the 
showers we plead but for the showers we plead thank you sister let us lighten our kids path by lighting the lamp together with our manager reverend father jos karya madam cmi principal reverend father dr rajesh chot cmi vice principal reverend father ebin v francis cmi and coordinators as dignitaries light the lamp i request dear parents to light the candles as instructed and hand it over to your beloved child let the light of the world dispel the darkness in us can be gained in many ways here are some holy scriptures wordings from bhagavad gita by ms manjula quran by ms tanzia bible by sister manasa reading from bhagavad gita certainly there is no purifier in this world like self knowledge the man who is full of faith who is devoted to it and who has substituted the sense of times and having obtained this knowledge or long he goes to the supreme peace therefore with the word of knowledge cut asunder and doubt of the self born of ignorance residing in your heart and take reviews and in right action arise reading from quran Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 3 verse 269 The messenger of God Huzur Pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet Muhammad said If anyone travels in search of knowledge God will give him travel to paradise the angels being highly pleased with him spread their wings over the seeker of knowledge everything in the heavens and on earth even the fishes in the depths of water seeking forgiveness for a scholar and the superiority of a learned man over ones engaged in ritual worship is like that of a full moon over the rest of the stars surah al-ashra chapter 26 verse 83 85 my lord grant me wisdom join me with the righteous give me a good name among later generations make me of highest of the garden of bliss Yeah reading from the holy gospel according to st luke chapter 9 verses 46 to 48 an argument broke out among the disciples as to which one of them was the greatest jesus knew what they were thinking so he took a child stood him by his side and said to them whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me and whoever welcomes me also welcomes the one who sent me for the one who is least among you all is the greatest thank you dear teachers for reminding us the words of wisdom from the holy scriptures now i urge all participants to devotedly participate in the intercessory prayers led by few of our parents the light of god surrounds us the love of god enfolds us the power of god protects us and the presence of god watches over us amen school school is the best place to build confidence level and improve the capabilities in students it is the best place where students can acquire education i pray to god that through christ international school 
all our children became a good citizens of our nation thank you book we can nowadays we can get the any information in our fingertips through google and internet but nothing can be that great person said book is our best friend one book is equal to 100 best friends books gives us education knowledge and also entertainers in many ways we can store the knowledge in the books and pass on to the generations finally books when when you open a book you open a new world books makes the students intelligent all the best my dear young kids who are all entering into the new world called school hello one and all i am murli father of gurucharan reddy the fruit of silence is prayer the fruit of prayer is faith the fruit of faith is love the fruit of love is service the fruit of service is peace this golden line said by the great madam mother teresa and i pray to god let our life should be this sweet like these fruits and i wish all christ international school children and student should be enlightened and brightest future thank you thank you dear parents for your participation in prayer representing the entire parent community i invite reverend father dr rajesh george cmi principal to offer the concluding prayer father god giver of all strength thank you for this wonderful school year at christ kindergarten fill each one of us with a renewed strength and more power we ask you father to fill our hearts with joy our minds with wisdom our class with abundant learning our lessons with fun our friendship with kindness and above all fill us with your love our loving and generous god we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can feel love thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst this deadly pandemic that has caused a lot of challenges in our life father help us to focus in our studies when learning becomes difficult grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm bless our teachers who inspire and guide us bless our parents who work hard to support us bless our classmates and all people who care for us we humbly ask for your guidance so that we may be courteous and honorable in our actions just and true in our dealings and pure and clear in our thoughts may you continue to bless us with your grace and love all this we pray in your mighty name amen thank you father words of wisdom from elders is always an inspiration i would like to invite our manager Reverend Father Joe Staria Madam CMI to <coughs> deliver his message and blessings to our little ones. My dear children, parents and teachers, what an awesome and auspicious day it is because it is your Vidyaramba, the reopening day. Well begun is half done. and ill begun is holy undone that is how the saying goes we are trying to begin well though the odds are still against us the pandemic still continues but we are trying to do what best we can <clears throat> through this medium called the computer <clears throat> 
the tiny thoughts of the little children here may not know or even remember even 10 years from now they may not even remember what is going on today because they are too small too little they are too young all i wish to tell them is this we all love you your parents love you your teachers love you and so do i your manager your principal everybody loves you because you are so lovable you are so little each one of you i guess is a bundle of joy so to speak and that may be one reason why jesus christ loved children <clears throat> i don't know if you remember <clears throat> uh, or carefully listen to the reading from, from uh, the script the bible which the sister read, uh, read out to you. The disciples were arguing among themselves who was the greatest among them. Jesus, what did Jesus do? He stood a, a child in their midst and said, uh, whoever wishes to be the greatest should be like a little child. Because the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as this. That is what he said. What is so great about the children? Of course, naturally, they are lovable because they are so sweet, so innocent, so simple, so humble. All these qualities are rolled into them. That is why we love them. Just as we, parents and teachers, teach children, we also have to take our lessons from children. Each child is also giving us a lesson. <laughs> child is a symbol of innocence, uh, simplicity. They have a capacity to wonder. They have a capacity to take delight even in little things. That is why they are always happy. We adults also should have a capacity to wonder at, uh, wonder at the awesome things around us. The capacity to take delight, to, to, to find the pleasure even in little things with which I mean, uh, uh, we are surrounded. So let us take our lessons from the children while we are trying to teach them. Like I said before, these children may not remember because they are so little, so young. They may not remember what is happening today. Um, but we adults need to know that we are really gifted with these children. Each child is a precious gift. It's a precious gem given to us by God. Remember, parents, that these children, um, strictly speaking, they may come through you, but they don't really belong to you. They belong to the society at large, and ultimately, they belong to God, none other than God. So we have an awesome responsibility to teach them and train them. Their, their mind now is like a tabula rasa, which means a clean slate. It is up to us to scribble something on the water. We scribble on this tabula rasa will be, uh, will make a permanent mark. on them. Saint Paul the Apostle has said, God has given us children to cultivate good things in them. Please remember this. Why did God give us children? To cultivate good things in them. Well, my dear teachers and parents, this is the awesome responsibility we are all undertaking today and all the days of our life, as long as we raise the children and uh, teach them. This is the responsibility we are undertaking. We will have to cultivate good things in them, in their minds. Otherwise, somebody else will do that job, whether you like it or not. 
the society, the peer group, the media, they're all going to have a powerful impact and influence on the little mind, minds of the young, young people uh, in front of us. That is why Plato, the great philosopher, Greek philosopher said, the beginning is the most important part of any work. Isn't it true? The beginning is the most important part. Suppose you are reading a book, you are not impressed by the opening chapter of the book. You are not going to continue reading the book. Suppose you are watching a movie. If you are bored by the beginning part, the, uh, the initial part of the movie, you are not going to complete watching the movie. Similarly, the beginning, uh, young children <clears throat> uh, begin their life. It may be a long life. It may be a short life. We do not know how long each child is going to live. But we all know for sure that we are given the opportunity or the privilege to catch these people young because we believe that the beginning is the most important part of any work, especially the work called, called the life. So dear parents and teachers, you are, parents are our educational partners. Please remember that. I would like, I always think of education as a triangle. Each, each side, <clears throat> the parent, the teacher, and the child. <clears throat> These are the three components, the three sides of the triangle, the parent, the teacher, and the child. The parents also have the responsibility to raise the children. Of course, they know that. Just as you raise your children to home, remember that they, they also uh, cooperate with the teachers and the management. Because uh, <clears throat> you are our educational <clears throat> partners. So together, let us try to <clears throat> do a great job this year. We are beginning a new academic year. <clears throat> Divided we fall, united we stand. So please stand united with the management and the teachers. And together I am sure we will be able to, able to raise our children the best way we can. This is all, this is my little message for you today. I wish you all, as you begin a new academic year, <clears throat> I wish each and every one of you, students, as well as teachers and parents, the very best. God bless you all. Thank you, dear father, for your inspiring words and blessings. Let's now formally introduce the little stars of the day. We introduce and welcome formally our new buds in the Christ Kindergarten with pride and honor. It's time to introduce our Chris buds with their loving parents and siblings. Steve Jijo, son of Mrs. and Mr. Jijo Vargis and Ligia George, brother of Helen Jijo. Honusiri, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Ravi G. and Archana C.K. Darshita, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Balaji N. and Bharati N., sister of Pranay B. Gurucharan, son of Mrs. and Mr. Murali R. and A. Lavanya, brother of Janavi M. Kuladi, son of Mrs. and Mr. Prakash and Vinoda brother of Kirtana and Dharani, Geetak, son of Mrs. and Mr. Ramamurti K. and Manjula S., Rishik Vihan, son of Mrs. and Mr. Harish S. and Vidya G., Hita, 
daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Chaipal Reddy R. and Radha S., sister of Darshan J. Tushala, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Muniraju R. and Mamta D. S., sister of Yashmita M. Haripriya, daughter of G. N. Navin Kumar and N. Sudha, sister of G. N. Mahesh Gowda. Neha Mary, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Sojan and Sherry, sister of Nisa Mary and Nivya Mary. Samarth V. Bhatt, son of Mrs. and Mr. Vishweshwara V. Bhatt and Seema V. Bhatt, brother of Prerana V. Bhatt. Aliza Mizra, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Imran Ahmad Beg and Afra Sultana. Sister of Anas Beg Hamad. Navya, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Manjunath and Divya Shri. Sister of Suchita. Rishik Reddy, son of Mrs. and Mr. Jitendra Reddy and Kavya. Brother of Shushank Reddy. Sohan Shetty, son of Mrs. and Mr. Ramesh and Nandini. Brother of Purvik, grandson of Munirudrama, Pushkara Naidu, son of Mrs. and Mr. Vijay Kumar and Saluja R, grandson of Mrs. and Mr. Ramesh G K and Ramalakshmama, Advik, son of Mrs. and Mr. Karthik and Kalpana, brother of Adhyant, Ganika. Daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Sunil Kumar and N. Suma. We welcome you all to our CIS family. Thank you, dear parents. We have invoked the blessings of Lord Almighty for our kids. And finally, its time has come to introduce our kids into the world of letters, the formal ritual of Vidya Rambam. Now, I request all parents to hold their child's index finger and initiate your child into writing. You may write according to your religious beliefs, preferably on a plate of rice, as the Vidya Mantra is led by Mrs. Hilda. and children. Dear parents, I request you all to distribute sweets to your child as a mark of appreciation. Let them feel this moment is important in their life. Now, 
It's treat to our eyes, a beautiful performance by a UKG kid. I call Ms. Bhavya to say some view, uh, few words about the performance. Teachers have three loves, love of learning, love of learners, and love of bringing the two loves together. Education is our passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. So here is our Devi Shri Vaishnavi from UKG A section is going to perform for Kannada song Bala Walyo Namisu, a dance performance by the child. Our principal, Reverend Father Dr. Rajesh George CMI, to address the gatherings. Respected Father Manager, Father Joskariya, Madam CMI, 
respected uh, Ms. Mutalakshmi, the coordinator of Kindergarten, Christ Kindergarten, respected teaching faculty of Christ Kindergarten, my beloved parents, and uh, very lovable uh, Chris Butts, who are going to join the Christ family. Uh, wishing you all a very warm morning. Uh, what a fantastic and awesome day today as uh, we begin or we introduce our young buds, Chris Butts, into the world of letters. It is a really an amazing day to begin with, with a wonderful arrangement of Vidyarambam by the Christ Kindergarten teachers who were preparing for this day for the past few days who were really behind it. I know that you are all excited to come to this campus to have lots of fun with your classes and lessons. Just like you are excited, we are also eagerly waiting to begin our classes here in our campus. But we all know the current situation does not allow us to come to the campus, but we have to move ahead virtually. My dear parent community, you can be the proud parents because you have chosen the best place for your kids. I appreciate and admire each and every one of you for your confidence in entrusting your kids to us, for uh, becoming the educational partners with us in molding your children into an excellent, uh, in, an ex in an excellent way. As Father Manage rightly pointed out that education in a triangle frame where teachers, the school, the teachers, parents and children join hands together to mold the best product that is an excellent uh, way that we can bring our children, especially to compete the upcoming, you know, the, the, the world for tomorrow. I'm really happy to welcome you all, the Chris Buds who were introduced a while ago to Christ's family. And we assure you that we make sure to give the best from our side during this challenging time to bring out the best in your children. And especially to give the best training as much as possible even with all the restrictions that we have, with your whole heart support. These young plants are, all these children are small plants now. They are uprooted and rooted in, you know, planted in our Chris garden. And we assure you, we are going to give them tender care. We are going to give them personal attention. We are going to give them personal monitoring. We are going to give them lots of fun activities through which they will grow into fine flowers. And that is the assurance that we can give today to all the parents and I urge all the parents to 
give your wholehearted support to us as we join hands together to shape a better future for tomorrow. They are going to be the future of India and we want our kids to receive the best, especially at this age as they are introduced into the world of letters. My dear teacher community and parent community, let's all join hands together, work together for a better tomorrow. Once again, wishing you all the very best. And to all my Chris Butts, my best wishes for a wonderful journey of school year this year. May God showers his abundant blessings upon you. May you have lots of fun in the classroom and may you have lots of good memories, lots of good, you know, uh, performances that are coming up to give you a better tomorrow. I wish once again all the very best and thank you for joining us today in this Vidhyarambam once again. My sincere appreciation to the teachers and to the parent community and hearty welcome to all Chris Butts. Thank you. Thank you, Father. It's time for a felicitation from one of our parents, Mr. Jijo Varghese. Dear parents, teachers, and my laughing kids. My name is Jijo Varghese, and I'm the proud father of Steve Jijo, who studies in LKG, and Helen Jijo, who studies in second standard in our Christ International School. I was very happy this year to hear that uh, Christ School is organizing a Vidyaramba program to welcome the newcomers. It's a great gesture that our teachers and Christ management team is putting for this and appreciate all their efforts that they are doing for our children. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of all the parents. As you know, Vidyaramba signifies, the word Vidyaramba signifies Vidya that stands for knowledge and Arambam that stands for the beginning. So Vidyarambam signifies the first step that our kids take when they enter into the vast ocean of knowledge. When they write on sand, it signifies the practice. When they, when they write on grains, it signifies the prosperity. And then when they write on their tongue with gold, it signifies the blessings that they receive from God. Let's wish all our kids all the blessings from God, may he shower the abundance of wisdom and knowledge to them. All the best kids for your, for your journey. Thank you, sir. We have come to the end of the program. Let's now welcome our KG coordinator, Ms. Muthu Lakshmi, for delivering the oath of thanks. Good morning to one and all. As we have come to the end of this program, it's my pleasure to extend my thanks to all. Let me start by expressing a heartfelt thanks to our manager, Reverend Father Jos Karya Madam Sayamai, who praised this vocation with his presence and true wisdom. Thank you, Father. I also thank our principal, Reverend Father Dr. Rajesh Judge Sayamai for his efficient guidance and advice of each part of the program. Thank you, Father. I would like to thank our Vice Principal, Reverend Father Yabin Francis CMI for his periodical monitoring and unfailing support. Thank you, Father. Next, I would like to give my special word of appreciation to our parents who made this program a grand success with their great support. Thank you, dear parents. My sincere appreciation to Mr. Amal Martin for his technical support in the efficient contact of the program. Thank you, sir. I render my gratefulness to my team of teachers for their commitment and dedicated work for making this program a successful one. Thank you, dear teachers. Once again, I thank one and all. Thank you, ma'am, for your inspiring leadership. I hope I have been a good host for the day. Thank you all. Have a great and fruitful academic year ahead, dear ones. Cheers.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, dear parents. Thank you, teachers. <coughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.